Welcome back to Stasis. We've just gotten past the turrets, and now it's time to delve deeper into the medical bay. You try to tell yourself that you're safe for now. <laughs> yeah, this destroyed sentry gun. This one might be destroyed, but uh, I'm sure there's more waiting to pop up and shoot me since I'm one of the last people that actually has their, their, uh, their chips still implanted in them. Erica Boxer. That utter jerk. I cannot believe that asshole. What kind of a man dumps a girl on their anniversary? Poor Danica's in hysterics. I had to swap my shifts on account of that prick. Sadie made that easy enough. She's such a good friend to me. We were inseparable at nursing school until she decided to branch out into botany. Seems she's suited more to general medical research than patient care. That's fine, I don't mind. I prefer working with people to plants anyway. The new walkway in hydroponics is a bonus too. Some of our boys like to stretch their new limbs among the greenery. Who said that the new departments were of no use? This is selfish, I know, but damn it, I've had so much on my plate. I'm having to do serious overtime. And then ungrateful turds like Eric I mean I've got even more to deal with. My poor baby sister. Body of a 30-year-old woman, mind of a 16-year-old girl. Apparently he says being the pilot of the Ozymandias is just too much pressure on a relationship. As is that sweet little co-pilot he recently acquired. I've had it up to here with pilots. Are they ever not chasing tail? Well... Tonight should be okay, as I've got Danica coming around with some of the girls in a shipment of Martian Champagne. The budget increase is proving to be a blessing and a curse. We've got more equipment, for sure, but nowhere near enough space for it. If only the Groom Lake was one of those modular types, we might be able to get some extra room. Sadie and I are working our butts off around here. God bless Sadie. If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be an alcoholic by now. Danica's... Is it Danica or Danica? I don't know. I'm gonna say Danica. Danica is still not over her douchebag ex and calls me up crying most nights just to talk about how she misses him. Next time I see him, I'm gonna punch his lights out. I worry about Danica. She's depressed, not eating, not sleeping. I might ask Ingratia to book her in for an appointment. She needs a shrink. Work-wise, the regeneration tanks are working beautifully, but the increased demand for them means we're running short of chemical dissociation reagents, and the cell growth regeneration fluid is pretty much spent. Speaking of the fluid, it's this new stuff Dr. Milan's unit had us, um, has had us using. It's technically the same as the last stuff, but I'm sure the molecular composition is different. Apparently it's four times as effective. It seems kind of unpredictable, actually. I've already asked Dr. Harvey to request that we switch back to the old one, which he has done. Twice. Why are they ignoring us? Hmm. New cell growth regeneration fluid. Special fluid from Dr. Milan. The crazy doctor. Who seems to be, uh, rather happy, I guess, that all of his experiments and stuff are running wild on the ship. He was obviously up to something. That was obviously part of his plan. He was, uh, I think he was experimenting off the books. Crazy huge brawl in the mess hall today. All the guys sweating and looking like they OD'd or something. There's been a spike in violent assaults. I'd swear it has something to do with the new supplies that came in. Ever since that new regen fluid, it seems like everything else is slightly off, too. I'm sure of it. Diet. Medicines, genetic samples, you name it. I spoke to Sadie, and she also swears there's been tampering. The idea that we've been ingesting bad food for months scares the shit out of me. I'm gonna get a friend of mine to analyze some samples. Until then, I'm locking my door at night. I'm not sure who I can trust. Sadie's been giving me strange looks, too. I might actually change the lock. 
Hmm. Everything seems off since the new regen fluid. I wonder... I wonder if Dr. Milan was not only testing something out with the new regen fluid, but perhaps had... Well, I don't know. If he was experimenting with cell regeneration, maybe he was thinking, I can make everybody healthy. I can make everybody regenerate their cells. Maybe have longer or infinite lives or something like that. And maybe he put something into the food or into the air or something for the entire ship. He's like, this is going to help everybody. Could that have been him? Maybe he didn't just tamper with the regen fluid, but everything and infected everybody with something? Could it be related to the fungus? I don't care anymore. I just don't care. I have to see Danica. I have to. She's with two others near the hangars, and I'm stuck here in medical. Two rifles taken from Malone and Bird, and a laser scalpel. That's all we have to get there. Sadie keeps fighting me on this and making excuses. She's starting to piss me off. Has that idiot forgotten where we are? That the Groom Lake is now a freaking hunting ground and my sister is in the middle of it? I don't fucking care if they don't come with me. I have to see my sister. I have to know about Danica. I heard her on the radio a day or two ago, so I know she's still alive. She has to be hiding. Danica was always better than me at hide and seek back home. It took hours to find her. Once, Mom sent a search party for her, and she'd been hiding at the bottom of the garden, tucked inside a dirt hole where Dad was planting beets. She's hiding. She has to be. Sadie is causing me problems. If she won't come with me, I guess I'll have to make her come along, whether she wants to or not. so bloodied up, like the guy under the floor. You could say that. I'm not sure how many people I'm looking at. It's like something from a eugenics war painting. Try to push through, John. A few decks below, one step at a time. Wait, where, where is he seeing the bodies? I mean, I see lots of blood and stuff here. Or is it down here? Hold on, let's read these descriptions. The incandescence of the lightning strikes illuminates a grisly series of bloody splatters across the windows. The atmosphere of Neptune is consuming this vessel as lightning shows the way. Can I look outside? Blood and tissue? The oozing red goop contains flecks of bone and masses of tissue. <sighs> oh god, why did I take some? What am I going to do with that? Rows of seats all unoccupied. What, can I take a seat? No. Oh, this is Sadie's. I thought that becoming the new head medical tech on this deck would actually improve things, but it's like being thrown into the lion's den. The lockdown a few months back was a pain, but these inventory discrepancies are the real problem. And then yesterday, the systems went haywire. The first thing Erica does, of course, is call up her little sister to make sure she's okay. I suppose I can understand that. I just wish that, well, I wish he'd ask after me sometimes, too. Yesterday, during the power outage, I was locked inside a storage room for two hours. But Danica's fine, of course, so who cares about me? I was only trapped in a product storage room, with only plant cultures and human limbs for company. I took a look at them, actually. It's part of my job, with, with the plants anyway. And I had to do something to keep my mind off things. Good specimens, all of them. Except for samples 99D, E, and F. I couldn't for the life of me work out why samples this badly mutated would be permitted anywhere near the greenhouses. These are recent, too. Dear God, what imbecile in shipping sent these to storage? 
Kane's hydroponics have the strictest quarantine regulations in the galaxy, punishable by losing your damn job. It must be that new section a few floors down. They've got all kinds of fools on the payroll. You know, I usually like to spend time in the greenhouses, but I swear something's going funny with some of the new crops. Erica said I'm probably just imagining it, but I had a whole batch of brassica growth cultures thrown out the other day showing signs of what looked like Dutch elm disease. How is that possible? I'm going to submit a report. How I'm supposed to explain to Dr. Milan and the board that we have mutant cultures in storage and perfectly good crops with extinct diseases is another matter. Dutch elm disease? That's an extinct disease? Yeah, how in the hell was that present? That's really strange. Hmm. So these three samples, 99D, E, and F, apparently they were horribly mutated. I wonder if that's just as a result of the fungus or whatever is causing all these mutations, or if that was on purpose. Maybe they were trying to introduce uh, mutated. Mutated samples as part of an experiment or something. I don't know, Dr. Milan was obviously fucking with everybody. I think I think Dr. Milan saw the entire ship and all of its crew as basically one big experiment. Erica's lost her damn mind. I'm scared out of my mind right now. She's dragged us on a fool's errand across the ship to look for Danica. I tried to tell her how I saw one of those things wearing Danica's face the other morning. Oh god, it makes me want to puke just thinking about it. It looked like a deflated balloon as it scuttled up the walls. I swear Ingratia fried it with a bolt, but we can't be sure. He's a psychiatrist, not a soldier. Then again, are any of us soldiers? Erica seems to think... <laughs> Erica seems to think we're in the Marine Corps, waving around that rifle with a crazy look in her eyes, threatening to kill anyone who disagrees with her. Erica, I told her. You're a nurse. God, I barely recognize her anymore. What happened to my best friend? What happened to that girl from Stokely, Mississippi? I don't know who Erica Boxer is anymore. Erica died this morning. My friend is gone. One of those horrific things tore her spine out of her body right in front of my eyes. I must be one of the last ones left alive. Not that I've got long. I'm infected with something. I can feel it. I checked out the hydroponics lab this morning. It's a wreck. I could have told them, anyone could have told them, that trying to breed a new fungus to kill the old one would be disastrous. The rest of it won't budge. I've tried tearing it away with the laser scalpel Erica gave me, but it did nothing. Zip. Zilch. Nada. What doesn't kill it really does make it stronger. I'm going back to retrieve Erica's remains later. I know she died a crazy woman, but she was my friend. I still love her. Trying to breed a new fungus to kill the old one would be disastrous. She's talking about the, the mushrooms, right? I've tried tearing it away. I'm not really sure what it is, but apparently there's like a growth or something that I guess is hard to remove. Something with a fungus. Oh, I've got some other things here too. Notices and reports, personal data tags. Oh, that was sent out to everybody. Yeah, so I've already seen that. Uh, but emails. From uh, Sadie to Dr. Milan. Inventory anomalies. Oh, this is about the, the messed up samples. Dr. Milan. First, allow me to apologize for mailing you directly, but this is a classified red emergency. I've undertaken further inspections beyond samples 99D, E, and F, and found that the majority of our inventory has been compromised by tampering. There are signs that the tampering began some time ago. Some of the materials are merely spoiled, but a large quantity appears to have been illegally modified. 
I'm not sure who the new suppliers are, but the inventory they have provided does not match the chemical manifest included. I'm aware this is a shipping concern rather than a hydroponics one, but Project Seed is based around our successful cultivation of hypernutritious plants in unusual conditions. With the current stock we possess, there's no limit to the number of illegal or mutated nutrients going into our plant growth. I'd advise that shipping and medical begin more thorough inspections of the received cargo. I suspect the problems could go back for months, although I have no evidence to prove this. Please recommend immediate termination of supply runs and decontamination of irrigation pipes until this is resolved. Wow, yeah, so this is not just some random mutation that happened because of the fungus or something. This is a deliberate tampering. The title's encrypted. From Erica to Sadie. Sadie, I love you very much, sweetie, but have you lost your damn mind? Those samples are restricted. What if Dr. Milan finds out you brought samples from out of the storage bays? It's not only your job you'll be losing. I'll do what you ask, but only because you've never been wrong before. Though I pray to God you are this time. Love, Erica. Hold on, let me make sure I didn't miss any emails on Erica's PDA. Oh, I did. So this is to Erica about the food enhancement report. I was, uh, dear Erica, I was under the misapprehension that your request was perhaps just paranoia. But, given the tests I've performed on the provided samples, well, I have to be honest, its implications are frightening. I will generally concur with your initial theory that some batches just went bad, but there's clearly much more than spoilage at work. You have to understand that when batches like this are spoiled, they're all spoiled, not, not just a few. A fungus, for instance, will spread through the samples, but there's an astonishing difference between the samples you've sent me. Some seem to have been cultivated quite for the qualities they demonstrate. Did you know the Brassica sample is enhanced with a genetically enhanced form of PCP? I know this because I tested the sample on one of my rats. The poor little thing lashed out violently, suffered a seizure, and then died. The precise name is DV8-5, a drug that was popular for enhancing the abilities of so-called remote viewers during the eugenics war. Laboratory created stuff. All designer, all professional. The most alarming part is that, owing to the different genetic strains seen in the five samples you sent for analysis, I get the impression that these contaminants were deliberately distributed to both staff and patients. I'm not sure what lunatic would do such a thing, least of all on a long-haul lab ship, but I've already sent a request to my superiors at the Ministry to examine the matter further. On an informal note, please look after yourself, Erica. You were always my best pupil, and I'm pleased you chose to confide in me. I do apologize that it has taken so long to get back to you. Be careful. With fondest affection, Luke. Jesus. Gen a genetically enhanced form of PCP. Laboratory created stuff, all designer, all professional. Is this all the work of Dr. Milan? Like, this seems too big to just be the work of one person. Could he have done all this? All of these... All of these different substances and... Diseases? Extinct diseases? Like... Uh, is this all him? Are there others in on it? Was this some big government... Test? Or something? Are we the lab rats just for Milan, or for something bigger? Were they testing, perhaps, the effects of certain things on a long-haul ship in a closed environment or something? I mean, Jesus Christ, who knows? You'd be happy to never see another tubular conveyance in your life. <laughs> 
come on, John, isn't it comforting? Okay. He mentioned seeing tons of bodies. I think he might have been talking about in here, because I see a lot of blood. Mm. No? Didn't he say, I think I know what happened to the crew? I don't... What was he talking about? I mean, I see shit tons of blood, but... I don't know. These suits look relatively intact, despite the new decorations spattering their surface. <laughs> new decorations. Festive! You can't begin to estimate how many lives were ended here. Yeah, why is there so much blood here? Was... Did everybody gather in here at some point for something and then... Something, or maybe multiple things, came and found them all? Serotonergic receptors are present in your principal vascular system. Mm-hmm. Is that supposed to mean something to me? Although they are saturated with human ichor, the suits are in working order. Oh, can I put one on? Oh, I just took one of the oxygen tanks. Profanity, derogatory comments, or other intimidating actions directed at Kane security employees will not be tolerated. Charged plasma molecules dart across the surface of an invisible electrical field. Hey, there's someone in there. There's a person in there. Is that uh, a stasis pod? I think it is. Hmm. Alright, readout, possibly person, another thing. Looks like a PDA, something else. There's a lot of stuff in there. I want to get in there. Hmm, do I sense some puzzling in my future? I see multicolored dispensers. Unlike much of the other machinery, this terminal was designed to assist in healing. <laughs> yeah, not, not much in this ship was actually meant to help people, was it? It's like, yeah, this one extracts your skin, this one tags your spine, this one melts you. electric shock. No, that wouldn't work. John? This is the only surefire way. What is this? What are you saying? The surgery pod should already be programmed to remove it. Oh, fuck. It didn't work out so well for this poor woman. It's the only way, unless you space jump between decks. This is surgery. John, prep the pod. <laughs> She died on the operating table. Whether beneficiary or victim, this is where the surgery patients lie. A high-end surgery pod. Sophisticated enough to perform nearly any operation with a tiny margin for error. Well, she found the margin for error. Jesus. It's an extracted PDT. Several bent spinal hooks protrude from a disengaged personal data tag. <laughs> A 
Hosea. Oh look, if anybody knows chemistry, they can tell me what this compound is, because I have no idea. I have not taken chemistry. It's carbon, three hydrogens, carbon, three hydrogens, and things. A new year for the chief surgeon, and a new year for the staff of the medical deck. I have to think of it that way, or it gets rather confusing. The staff of a medical deck now consists of three extra sections. Cybernetics, tissue regeneration, and for some reason, medicinal hydroponics. Yes, it may be medicinal, but as I told Dr. Milan, they are still plants. I don't wish to seem ungrateful. It is Kane Corporation who opened so many new doorways for me, and who redefined the frontiers of medicine for us all. As a man who served his apprenticeship on the battlefields, elbowed deep in the blood of innocence, to see those deserts and war-torn villages reborn as images of nirvana is a privilege. And all thanks to the sciences of Cain. And yet, it's hard to understand why, on the Groom Lake, so many departments are being forced to share resources like this. I hear our budget will be up for review soon, and the chances of us getting an increase are slim. I shall try to remain positive. My goodness, a 300% budget increase. I I just, sorry, my brain just fried for a second. I was like, I read this and I thought 300% percent. And I'm like, wait, no, it just says 300%. And then I read it again and realized, no, actually it says 300% percent. percent. It's got the symbol for percent and the text for... Per anyway, my goodness, a 300% percent budget increase. I've not yet been able to even imagine how helpful this financial windfall will be. Dr. Milan assured me that a sizable portion of this budget will be applied to Project Seed. It makes our work that much more essential. We'll order new equipment and new samples. Although I don't totally agree with the ethics of Dr. Milan's acquisition of volunteers for surgery and testing. The leaps and bounds we've made in our research more than makes up for the rest of it. Is it wrong that we must test the limits of morality for the greater good? Yes. Yes, yes it is. It is wrong. <laughs> Look at this acquisition of volunteers. They're they're not volunteers. They didn't volunteer for anything. They were stolen out of their sleep. There is no consent. There's zero consent. I'm a surgeon who has seen many awful things in the blood-soaked abattoirs of the Pangea Wars. So perhaps this should be second nature to me. But I don't recall agreeing to the use of children for testing. I went to inspect the stasis tubes at the request of my chief nurse, and found that there were several children, some as young as nine years old, awaiting processing. Children? I was shocked and appalled, and demanded an explanation from Dr. Milan. Edward Jenner had to test vaccines on children to see if they'd work, he said. I knew the story. What medical does not? Jenner injected infected purulent exudates into the child's arm, which must have seemed callous disregard for the child's life, and yet it saved the boy. That is how he convinced me. We are at the frontier of the sciences. Chances must be taken. I do not always feel comfortable with his ethical choices, but his logic is sound. The research is too valuable for us to let a few moral qualms get in our way. I fear that my decision to become a surgeon with Kane Corporation is not quite as simple as I thought. The first casualties of the infection spreading across the ship came to my lab, where we had to set up a quarantined operating room. I had to get hands-on with a patient for the first time in years. The flow of blood, the cutting of infected tissue using my specialized tools. God forgive me, but I enjoyed it. It's impossible to explain the adrenaline rush from playing God in such a way, of having the lives of so many on the verge of death in your hands. I felt it on the battlefields, and I feel it now. It is not the beauty of birth that moves me, it seems, but the pungent stench of death. I thought I'd join Kane Corporation to save my soul. Instead, 
It is to slake the thirst of the beast in me, whose jaws slaver at the scent of blood. I am ashamed. Wow, this, this person is wonderfully eloquent in writing about how fucked up he is. Kudos to you, sir. How could I not have seen it? Those awful life forms are disguising themselves as us, inside us. They wear our skins and our PDTs, which explains how the security systems cannot detect them. If I didn't already know where those creatures came from, this would perhaps be less frightening. But they've learned the vile abominations. Abomination. What a word that is. It appears to summarize what I, we, have created in our hubris. We have created evil. God help us all. I just want to look at that again. They wear our skins and our PDTs. That's why they're all skinned. They're wearing the skins. If they're smart enough to do that, then they're smart enough to do other things, too. A lot of other things. Hmm. You know, I feel like that makes it more likely if there being some sort of a System Shock 2-esque reveal of uh, this person that I've been talking to over the radio who's been helping me. Uh, I hate those sounds. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm just thinking, uh, Taya? Tia? Taya? I think her name's pronounced Taya. What if Taya is one of the monsters? What if... She's, you know, she's luring me. Well, I shouldn't say lure, because I don't know if she's actually, you know, uh, an enemy yet. But she's... She's giving me a strong, strong reason to go to a certain place in the medical bay. Right? She's told me, my daughter is here, go here, you'll find her. What if she's just luring me to her, instead? As in, to her, the monster, Taya, rather than to my daughter. That would not surprise me. That really would not surprise me. Hmm. Yeah. But she's, she's also saved me, right? She's opened doors and stuff. And she's saved me from... And she's kept me out of harm's way from the other monsters. If she just wanted me to die, I could have died many times over. And I'm sure she could have made that happen, with all the control that she has over the ship's systems, locking doors and stuff like that. Unless she just wants me for herself. I don't know. Anyway. All right, emails. Analysis report. Dr. Milan has recalibrated his guidelines for subjects in Project Seed, and specifically the requirements for any female subjects who have previously been pregnant. The female subjects should ideally have been screened, but their precise source is not important. Since the project has a 99.89 chance of of a non-fatal uh, reaction in subjects, members of staff will be eligible for this test. The ideal subject is as follows. Do recently been pregnant, age, yep, yep, yep. Right, so these are the requirements that caused that one woman, I don't remember her name, but uh, that one woman whose PDA I read to be rejected, right? Because she was pregnant when she was 17. And you have to be between 18 and 40. I think there's only one of the reasons, though, right? I think there might be others, too. I don't know if it was within the last year that she was pregnant. Either. I don't... I doubt it was. So that'd probably be another reason she got rejected. Regarding the nurse. We have disagreed often, but never so more than now. I'm aware that Miss Callister doesn't work in surgery, and that Chief Nurse Boxer has seniority in terms of rank. However, 
McAllister has one of the most extraordinary organizational minds I've ever worked with. The product storage areas are clean and well indexed. Therefore, I have to challenge your demand that I remove her from her position because of these false reports she's been sending you about anomalies in the supplies. I have no doubt that your claims of her illicitly taking samples is only an accusation. She is a fine worker and reports only what she feels is right. I'll be taking no action against her. You are in charge of the project, but you must allow me to choose my staff at my own discretion. So we've got, what, three, four, four different things. Organic receptacle. A protein and fat storage container. Ew. Stores oxygen-rich compounds under high pressure. This thick, viscous syrup is a cocktail of a cryoprotectant and synthetic amniotic fluids. And a surgery suite. At least one of these would be anesthetic. Your guess is that it's this one. So John's only guessing that this is the anesthetic? I hope you didn't guess about the other ones. Okay, hold on. Before I even touch that stuff, I want to know what's this way. And let me go ahead and save it just in case a, a turret's going to come out of the ground or something. down? I heard some creepy whisperings, too. Was he having, like, a vision of his wife and kid? I don't know. Personal data tag detected. System's locked because I have no security clearance. Well, shit. So yeah, I can't do anything here. Nope. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What about, what about this? This personal data tag, can I use that to activate it? Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's turn the force field off. Alright, so the force fills off, but still locked. Hmm. Is that gonna turn off the other force field too? Or just that one? Oh, turn off this one too. I wonder what might be behind the force field. I'm just gonna save the game again. Ooh, there's a lot of things in here. Alright, I should probably see what these things are actually about. Let me try to use them. Empty stasis fluid container. Wait, do I need that? I guess. I wonder what I need to do to prepare it. This is a friendly reminder that sport crime does this is a Well, I'm guessing I need to like fill it up with oxygen. I don't think this will fit. Well, did you have to drop it on the ground, John? Jeez. Butterfingers. 
No, that's ridiculous. There we go, now it'll fit. It's wrapped up. Get in there. The MedTech surgical pot is not properly prepared for the selected program. Well, I feel kind of smart that I actually found that solution so quickly. Okay, so yeah, I just need to prep every part of this thing, so the fact that I took this with me means I need some stasis fluid, which means I probably need to get it from that other room with the person in the thing. Uh, organic receptacle. Um, what does that mean? Does that mean it needs, like, raw, <laughs> like, organic building materials, such as this? The organic matter receptacle requires refined biological tissue. Oh, you mean that, like, tumorous growth I just ripped off from the wall isn't refined? Dang. Tia, a survivor. Is someone alive? Not exactly. He's in stasis. It could be dangerous to wake someone from stasis without the proper procedures being followed. So who the hell woke me? Forget him, John. You need to think about the mission. Well, I, th I think I need to wake him up, right? Because don't I need his fluids? <laughs> I need to wake the... <laughs> that sounds so weird. I need to wake this dude up because I need his fluids. <laughs> but seriously, I need stasis fluid. But if I kill him just trying to get stasis fluid, I'm a, I'm a fucking murderer. Uh, I don't suppose there's something left in here. An empty stasis pod brings the saddest memories flooding back. This isn't gonna work. Guess it's just a readout. I'm not sure what this is telling me. It shows me some sort of chemical compound. Syringe. This pod looks like it hasn't been connected in quite some time. I don't know what I was thinking there. What if I can just like break it open? Uh, it doesn't look like it has any fluid in it though. Hmm. What about this one? I don't know, that readout doesn't mean anything to me. Impossibly, in the middle of all this slaughter, there's another survivor, clearly alive. His life signs seem normal. How aware is he of what has happened on board the Groom Lake? Well, most likely he's not aware at all. Or... Well, it is possible that maybe to protect himself, he put himself into stasis. You know, maybe he locked the door and turned on the force field, put himself in stasis, and he's like, fuck it, let's go to sleep and, you know, hopefully when I wake up, it'll be when someone's found the ship and, and they've, and they're doing a rescue operation. It's possible. I mean, it could be either go into stasis or stay alive, you know, stay locked in a room and starve, or go out looking for supplies and die to the monsters. Stasis would seem like a pretty good option. This door is made from medium-strength industrial compound, but has been torn apart like paper. Ugh. Broken stasis control terminal. Although the screen still looks functional. Something's broken within. It won't work. Uh, wait a minute. It says the screen. The screen still looks functional. I don't know about you, but that screen does not look functional. I don't see a damn thing on it. No, that won't work. I can try to make it fit, but it may... Oh, 
all the color in this room. The red lighting only makes the... Just washes out the blood, makes the entire room look like blood. Crimson pools of blood have been... Have been spilled. Oh, stasis pod chip. Stasis pod command control module. Module. I guess I can use that to repair it. Crates and storage cubes of many different sizes sit, sit haphazardly along the wall. Judging from their sturdy construction and warning labels, these tanks must contain hazardous materials. The red lights cast long, wicked shadows across the victim's face. Oh my god, he's been freaking separated. His legs have been separated from his torso. Just entrails connecting it. Entrails are splayed like optic cables trailing between terminals. That is disgusting. The femurs have buckled in opposite directions and have been ripped from their sockets. Ew. Another body. Two. Burke Carter. Be still, my beating heart. I saw the most divine creature in hydroponics. She's friends with that nurse, Erica. Erica gives me the evil eye. But Sadie... Sadie is just a divine thing. Curves in all the right places. In the face of an angel. I keep trying to come up with reasons to visit the medicinal hydroponics section. She never sees me, though. I'm not trained to medical staff. Those soldiers in the recovery rooms give me funny looks if I'm at the window trying to get her attention. I have to find a way to speak to Sadie directly. I've seen her head to the decontamination room, and she seems to go there after every shift. I might try and strike up a conversation by one of the machines, and maybe offer to buy her a drink. I'll do it tomorrow, or maybe the day after, because tomorrow I've got a double shift. Still, it takes a brave man to work on unknown sciences in the bosom of the cosmos, doesn't it? Like the jocks back at school would ever be able to do what I freaking do. I risk life and limb to repair essential electronics, and that takes courage. I may not be a soldier, but I think I have the right to call myself a man of courage. What's with the shutdown? Jesus, nine days now. I've been trying to get through to the surgical pods for a week. I gave up going to hydroponics to see Sadie after they started restricting, restricting access to unnecessary personnel. So now I just hang around product storage by the vending machines hoping to see her. But when I do, I just choke up. Damn, I'm so pathetic. I'm reading this book by Arian Sanchez. It's about the eugenics wars. It's freaking amazing that we're even allowed to do what we do on the Groom Lake with what happened all those years ago. I have to hide the book, though. Dr. Milan saw me reading it in the rec room, and he went totally apeshit. Threatened to burn the book and fire my ass. So now it stays under my pillow, and I sure as hell don't take it on my rounds. Instead, I bring one of the Pangean series by W.C. Dark with me. Is that his real name? Doubt it. I love Major Plothole. He's incredible. <laughs> Sometimes wish I'd had the balls to be in the Marines rather than engineering. I'd love to be like him. Wait, I'm sorry, his name is Major Plothole? That, that, that is how it's supposed to be pronounced, right? Plothole? 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 That's Plothole. It's totally Plothole. Rations arrived today. Nobody's impressed. It's all emergency shit, so hardly gourmet. But man, I wasn't expecting much, but this is seriously bad. Because food short, people are going bug fuck. Lotus punched Malone, broke the poor bastard's nose. Steve's having trouble keeping everyone's fists off each other. I keep asking why we can't just raid hydroponics, but they keep shouting me down, especially Sadie. She looks so pissed when she sees me, but nowhere near as pissed as when she looks at Dr. Milan and, and Dr. Alraj, Alraj Cooper. She must despise me. Why didn't I just ask her out before? Because you're a coward, Burke. A dirty, stinking coward.
The power went out again. I'm so freaking scared, I can barely breathe. Those rumors of animals prowling around medical? Not rumors. I saw one guy ripped apart by one of those things. Couldn't make it out too well. Pale skin... tails, I think? They move around like a pack of dogs, and they're strong. People are scared and hungry. I kept a small stash of food in my quarters. I didn't even tell Steve about it. I feel ashamed for keeping it to myself, but people are getting crazy, man. I think it might actually be against regulations to hoard food. Migliata would kill me if he knew I had rations hidden. Come on, the guy's nuts. He practically strangled me the other day. Carswell had to restrain him. Body still freaking kills from the operation earlier. Steve was nominated to reprogram the security turrets, and the guy just went and did it. He's a hero. Not like me. Now I'm not just a coward. I'm a freaking murderer. I used those poor bastards in stasis to keep those god-awful things from getting to me. I just unlocked the stasis units and began the recovery process, so that when they staggered out of the deep freeze, those things were waiting for them. I found a product storage room that nobody was using and locked myself in. When the breach was reported, I heard the screams. I pissed myself. I fucking pissed myself. Is that any way for a real man to behave? As I ran, I saw Sadie cradling her best friend's bloodied body in the corridor. The worst freaking part isn't that it never occurred to me to stop. I just hoped that they'd buy me the time I needed to find a hiding place. That's who Burke Carter was. Whoever finds this, and I know somebody will, he was a coward. I just hope that the computer parts in this PDA come in handy to whoever finds this. If my hide was this useless in life, the least I can hope is that something I left behind will be useful. Damn, Burke. Well, I can say that, uh, something you left behind was actually useful. So, at least you did something good, but you really are a murderer. Fucking unfroze them to their death. What a, what a way to wake up. Jesus. God, so am I actually gonna wake this person up? Oh god, it looks like I can inject various things to different parts of the body. Oh my god, I better be really careful here. And this last one is just to open it. Okay, I am going to save that for the next episode. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's going to be... I better be careful, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But then again, if I don't know what I'm doing, how can I be careful? Oh god, this person's so going to die. God, but if they don't die, I could have somebody to talk to. Not that they're really going to be able to help me that much. I mean, if they just woke up and they're not going to know what the hell's going on... There's going to be a lot of explaining to do, but God, it would be nice to have an actual living human being to talk to, wouldn't it? Next to me. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to attempt to wake this person up and not kill them.